Hello, my name is Nicholas Embleton and I am a consultant neonatologist in Newcastle in the north of England. And in this short five minute presentation, I want to introduce you to the Butterfly Project. And you're welcome to get in contact with us through our website, neonatalbutterflyproject.org, or you can email me at the address shown or through the skyhighfoundation.com. Our work in this area has come from over 10 years of qualitative studies with parents and health professionals exploring their feelings and experiences. We initially started off by exploring the experiences around withdrawal of life sustaining support in critically ill neonates. And this identified many issues, particularly the importance of professional and personal identity, who we are, how we feel and behave, and the importance of stories, and particularly the importance of expressing empathy. And many parents told us that it's the little things that count. And through this initial project, this highlighted the challenges of co-twin loss. We therefore undertook the Butterfly Project, which was a further qualitative study with parents and professionals focusing on co-twin loss. And this covers miscarriage, stillbirth, terminations for medical reasons, and all neonatal or baby loss. We undertook a qualitative study with parents and health professionals. And from this, we developed written guidelines and teaching PowerPoint and other resources. But we felt it was very important that people could hear parents speaking directly about their feelings, their emotions, and their stories. And so we undertook a film project, which created a new website. And finally, we have produced an online learning course with FutureLearn that was released in November 2021. And I'm just going to take you through that very briefly. In our film project, we spoke to eight families and recorded over 60 hours of footage which we then cut into the various themes based on our academic research. And in each of these different sections, you can hear parents speaking for a few minutes at a time about these different topics. Our thematic analysis had identified many themes. We focused on eight key themes here, where we felt we could make practical differences to the care. These themes are therefore also included on the website as videos with both parents and staff talking about what they mean to them. We also developed a series of guidelines and resources that could be downloaded. And these were translated into many different languages. Throughout the project, we had developed the concept of using a butterfly cock card. This emphasizes the importance of identity of any surviving baby from a multiple pregnancy as having had a twin brother or sister. We place these on the incubators of babies on the neonatal unit. But some people have also used them as stickers on the front of medical notes. And these butterfly cock cards have now been shared with more than 200 hospitals worldwide. The butterfly symbol really took off and many parents immediately identified the significant and use of the butterfly symbol. We know of parents who made butterfly tattoos, who went to visit butterfly farms or released butterflies on anniversaries. We produced badges or brooches that children could wear on the way to school. And so this has really meant a lot to many of the families involved. Acknowledging the bereavement was particularly important. And one of the most important things that we came up with was that every parent and family had been told, at least you've still got one. And every parent found this hurtful. And it continues to be said to them for days, weeks, and years later. We really wanted to emphasize why these sorts of statements are so upsetting for families. As I say, we were able to translate our written guidelines 
into many different languages. We've recently added Arabic and Japanese. And we've partnered with the Sky High Foundation, which was established by Millie Can after her daughter Sky uh, died shortly after birth, her twin daughter Sky. The Butterfly website that hosted the films has been viewed the world over, but it functioned primarily as a resource and did not provide structured teaching. Of course, we are indebted to all the parents who helped us with this project over very many years and felt able to share their painful experiences. And we have now maintained contact with many of these families over several years and we continue to work with them to develop our learning. Most recently then, we have developed this course, which is hosted on a platform called FutureLearn. And the website is there, www.futurelearn.com. And you can now find our course there, Loss of a Baby for a Multiple Pregnancy. This is a CME accredited course from the Royal Colleges of Pediatrics, the Royal Colleges of Nursing, and the Institute of Health Visiting. It provides moderated on learning, online learning with your peers. There's a partnership between Sky High Foundation, Newcastle University, and Newcastle Hospitals. All of the resources are there, free to view, so anybody can access these resources to learn. But those requiring a CME certificate will pay a small at additional cost in order that their, their learning is tracked to ensure completion and they are then provided with a downloadable certificate. The course has been endorsed by more than 20 advocacy organisations and professional organisations from across to Europe, North America, UK, Australia and Latin America and we are very grateful for their support. The learning provides four hours, which is a mixture of discussions, videos and audios, and promotes interactive discussions with others from around the world. But we're only able to provide this facility in English. The website on FutureLearn also includes multiple downloadable stories, a lot of web links to relevant organizations and support groups, PDF resources for use on the neonatal unit, as well as tips for families and friends who may be struggling to understand some of these concepts. So finally, here is the website. The QR code there may work with your phone or you can copy that web link above. The learning is relevant to all areas of baby loss and multiple specialties, including obviously neonatology, but also midwifery family practice, nurses, doctors, students, and psychologists. In the two weeks since it opened, we've enrolled over 200 active learners from more than 50 different countries. And we will maintain this resource on this platform for at least the next two years. So thank you very much for listening. And I look forward to meeting some of you online in the course. Thank you. <laughs>